and welcome back to the BK Media. My name is Omoe Karyuki and this is my story. So on the second day of my riding training, I decided to buy my bike. Like I made a decision on which bike I'm going to buy and even paid for it. I don't know how you decided on your first bike, how fast was it, did you do it like me, I don't know. But you can share your story because I would also love to hear it. Please put it in the comment section down below. In this video, I'm going to share my story of my first bike, how I bought it. And as you can hear, my decision was made pretty fast. And then I'm hoping that we can have a good laugh with your stories as well, that you're going to share with me in the comment section below. And probably we can help someone who is yet to buy their first bike. If you happen to watch this video, the link that is appearing up here, please watch that video. That video talks about um, how I became a biker, how I started off. So there are a few things that from those, that video will make you understand this video and enjoy it more. It took me almost two years to actually go and get trained as a rider. Long story short, the first year was because I was convincing myself that, yes, I can do this. I was dealing with my own fears. The second year is because I was looking for a school. I trained in 2015. There were not many schools. There were very, very few. And this information was not public. So there wasn't anywhere you could go and find the information about riding schools. You remember even driving schools, we just used to know a few. Yet there were so many. So this gave me a thought, actually. We need to have a place where you can find information about biking without a struggle. Yeah, assignment. So you can imagine I went to Google, I went to YouTube, I went to Facebook. But anyway, long story short, I came across this page called AMD, African Motorcycle Diaries. I requested to join. Those days, that group used to be so strict. You could request and even take a month or more before you're accepted. So I can't remember how long it took for them to accept me, but and eventually they accepted me. Now, in this same year, when I was now serious and set and I knew I am going to get a bike, I also started putting money aside. I had no clue how much bikes cost. And I also came into riding with the wrong mentality. So anyway, I got on AMD. I put a long post about looking for a riding school, about the support, buying a bike and everything. And I got overwhelming support. Like the responses that I got were very, very good. A number of schools were, or trainers, instructors were recommended. And then I decided to go with the one who was recommended by the most people. So that's a short background about how I got into all this. So first day I go to school or to the training ground, I meet my instructor and of course the first day you're taken through uh, knowing the bike, these are the handlebars, the controls, the brakes are here. You're introduced to the bike and then there's the session where he gets to know you and understand you and why you want to ride. Just more of getting to know you and your why you want to ride. Remember to watch that video because there's much more that I'm not going to repeat in this video. So we talked and I told him I'm ready to buy a bike. I want to start riding as soon as I get my license. So since a lot of people had trained with him, he knew who is selling their bikes, their first bikes, because they want to upgrade to something else. Let me tell you guys, this is what happens. When you buy your first bike, chances are very high that it's not going to be the bike you will ride for the rest of your life. Most people, or all of us buy a beginner bike. Some of us love them and are comfortable with them and keep them for a long time. Majority get used to riding, discover what they like, 
the style of riding they like and what they want to do with their riding and then now they upgrade to that particular bike that will serve their needs best so he always used to have a list of people who are selling their bikes and he told me i have a number of people who i think the bikes that they have could suit you based on your height your weight and what you've told me about what your interests are so we agreed you can ask these guys to bring the bikes because my second day was on a saturday my first day was on a friday you know you can ask them to bring the bikes tomorrow and i will have a look so i think i saw three or four bikes but one caught my eye remember how i used to invention myself as a biker <laughs> on a speed bike although the second day before the bikes came for me to view i had already now taken the apache we used to train with an apache 160 i had ridden it around the the grounds the field and i had dropped it and i was asked to pick it and it was very, very difficult to pick so at the back of my mind i was like wow probably the 600 will not do but anything that looks like a sports bike will do so the bikes were brought several bikes and this particular one caught my eye because the design was sportish and it was light and it was nice but this is my second day of training so the bike comes i can move a bike around i can go gear one gear two and i'm told to sit on it and ride and i take the bike i take it round the field i think i did one lap or two laps and i'm like this is the bike this is the bike that is what i called a test ride for me <laughs> that is what i called a test ride a test ride is supposed to serve more but anyway this is my day two in school and i call that a test ride and that is how i sealed the deal so remember i had no idea how much bikes go for but luckily since i had started saving for quite some time the bike fitted my budget and i had already told the instructor around how much i have that i know i'll be comfortable to spend on a bike without putting myself in some financial strain so it fitted within my budget now i know you're wondering which bike i bought it was a hero charisma zmr or zmr yes that's a bike i bought a red one and the color also was like wow i have a red car and a red bike nani kama mimi <laughs> so yeah that's a bike i went for of course there are other things that informed my decision one is that this bike was so popular almost every other biker rode a zmr almost it was so popular that i felt well if all these people ride a zmr then it can't be bad reason number one the other reason that the guys who rode zmrs had their own club a heroes club and these guys were not just bikers they lived like a family these guys celebrated each other's birthdays. They attended weddings for each other. They went for family events for each other. They organized their clubs, family events. I mean, they organized their own clubs, family festivals or fests, where they would bring their families that day. There would be nobody riding, come with your children, have fun, eat, and have fun together they used to organize getting out of town as a group they would go and have fun out there adventures i was like wow this is a nice community to be in so that was the other thing that informed me there was also a few other technical things that i was told about this bike one that the conception was very very good and i can confirm to you this bike in anusanga mafuta ivo too i could fill one tank 
and it would take me a whole month. Although my mileage was small, I used to go from home to work and back home. So I used to cover around maximum 20 every day. And on weekends, if we have a, a ride around Nairobi, then I would, I would join in. So one full tank used to take me for a whole month. Your bike consumption is, among all the bikes that I've ridden, that one had the most efficient fuel consumption. Then, of course, the CC was a good CC, good fit for me at the time. It was 223cc, or it is a 223cc bike. The weight was good. Um, what else? Yeah, and the price. Oh, something else. That bike has the best resale value. It used to sell at 260 brand new from the showroom. And you could get 240, 250. And 20. Actually, I think everybody who owned a ZMR and sold it, nobody used to get less than 220. Regardless of how old it is, not unless you've really misused it, it's so beaten. If it's still in good mint condition, the resale value of that bike was amazing. So those were some of the things that I loved. Um, I was told and I also got to learn. What else did I discover about this bike and why did I sell it? What didn't I like? I didn't like the sitting position. I came to discover, especially when I started doing now out of town rides, I discovered that that sitting position wasn't fit for me. I really used to get tired. My back pains, yes. I also don't, didn't like the turning. I would love to hear someone else who's ridden as ZMR, whether they had this experience. When you're taking a corner, because of the way it's built, you can't see the front wheel which for me used to be disturbing, maybe because I was a newbie, I don't know, but I just used to find it very uncomfortable taking corners. That was a challenge. The other thing that I didn't like about it, actually, it wasn't about the bike. It was about the dealer. The dealer never supported the customers. Finding spare parts, and I would love, if you're watching this video and you had a ZMR and you had you needed spare parts, please share your experience in the comments section. Finding spare parts was a problem, big problem. Most of these bikes would sit in the garage for a long time waiting for spare parts. Also, there weren't so many mechanics who could, fit, who could fix them then. It was a new bike in the market and the dealer didn't give the best support. I just hope if they're still selling this bike, I hope they have improved on that. So if you have one, now you're reading it now you can share the experience whether they have improved on the service um improved on spare parts that would really help someone who might admire this bike and want to buy it so please put your review down there in the comment section so those are the things that that was my experience with this bike i have shared what i liked and i have shared what i didn't like So overall, I shared my many firsts with this bike. It is a bike that I first rode, of course, when I became a biker. So it has a special place in my heart. It is a bike that I was riding when I met my husband. It is a bike I was riding when I went for my first date. It is a bike that introduced me to an amazing community of bikers. It is the bike that I first rode out of town. So we shared a lot of firsts and beautiful firsts. Would I recommend this bike to someone else? Definitely yes. If we hear a review from a current rider who will tell us that the dealer support is good, yes. What are the lessons that I learned from this experience? One, research, research, research on bikes. Research comes up. It is very important if you're looking for your first bike to do a lot of research. I did not do much. I did not know the price, the pricing of bikes. I did not know much about biking. Secondly, what I called as a test ride, that is not a test ride. That was um, sit on the bike and feel it. That's, that's what I would say I do. So it's important to have a better test ride. I'm very fortunate that the person who sold me the bike sold me a mint bike. It was in perfect condition. But I can imagine if you really want to understand the bike more, 
besides just sitting on it and feeling how it moves, then you need to do a proper test ride. So that was the second lesson that I learned. What other lessons did I learn? Um, give your time to test ride as many bikes as possible um, and do it when you have some when you have more skills don't do it like me on your second day of riding no you don't have enough skill to even tell what you like and what you don't like on a bike so i'll suggest finish your training and then after that test ride some bikes and test ride as many as possible then i think if i had done that i would have probably chosen another bike because there are a few things i discovered that i didn't like the ones i've shared which probably i would have known earlier one or two maybe i hope that this story shares something important and valuable to you and if you're looking for a new bike i hope i have helped you on how to start off and i am also looking forward to hear your stories about getting your first bike the mistakes you've made the, your experience with your first bike of course what what was it like you know that those first that you will never forget please share with me in the comment section below and until the next video with another story it is bye for now